Hello students, I am Sarita Umesh. Welcome to my channel, Fun Chemistry. Kindly subscribe the channel. Please press the bell button. You will get the notification whenever I upload the videos. So today we will be discussing the second part of general principles of metal extraction. This is the sixth chapter, you know that general principles and processes of isolation of elements. So basic things we learned in the first video. Now we will be studying in detail the concentration of ores. Concentration of ores is also known as benefication or ore dressing. There are different methods used for this process. This process means for benefication. Just a recap. What was benefication or ore dressing? It is the removal of unwanted substances known as gang particles from the ore. It is called benefication, ore dressing or concentration of ore. In this chapter, we are studying four different methods. Of concentration of ores. First one is hydraulic washing, second one is magnetic separation, third one is froth flotation, very very important method, froth flotation method, then last one is leaching. Many times questions from froth flotation method and leaching are asked. So these two in detail we have to consider. Leaching will be considered or it will be taught by me only in the next video because this is chemical treatment chemical method of benefication so this we are keeping aside but we will be studying these three in detail what are these three first one hydraulic washing magnetic separation and froth flotation method first one is hydraulic washing the basic principle behind hydraulic washing is the difference in gravities of ore particles and gang particles. Normally, ore particles are heavier than gang particles. So, what we are going to do is first we will take the cindered or pulverized ore, the powdered ore, and an upward stream of water will be used for this particular process. So, lighter particles will be coming up with the water and it will be washed away it will be washed away with water what will be left behind the ore particles why because ore particles contains metals they are heavier particles they will be settling down so this is the simple method called hydraulic washing second method that is called magnetic separation so magnetic separation from the word itself it is very very clear in your class 9 you have separated a mixture of iron filings and sulfur powder using a magnet. So you know that magnetic separation is applicable only when either the gang or the ore particles are magnetic in nature. So ores of iron, you know, magnetite, hematite, these all can be separated by this method because those two substances are magnetic in nature. So in magnetic separation, what we are doing is, we are using two rollers that is rotating, two rollers, it's rotating. One is magnetic, this roller is magnetic in nature. On the top of this rollers, a conveyor belt is moving in this way, a conveyor belt is moving. You must have seen this type of an arrangement in the floor mills. There will be two rollers, it will be ro rotating. On top of the rollers, there will be a belt moving like this, in this fashion. So one roller is magnetic, the other roller is not magnetic. On the non-magnetic, on top of the non-magnetic rollers, on the conveyor belt, we'll put the powdered ore. So this will be rotating like this. Once the powdered ore reach this side, this side means the roller which is magnetic in nature, the magnetic particles are attracted and it will be 
just coming closer to the roller and all the lighter particles which are non 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 magnetic will be thrown away so that will be collected far away and this will be collected near to the rollers so this is a simple technique this is called magnetic separation so once again there are two rollers it is rotating like this on top of the rollers there will be a conveyor belt moving like this so one is this is magnetic roller this is non non this is not magnetic on top of this non magnetic roller on the conveyor belt we are keeping our powdered ore so when we switch on the switch what will happen it starts moving like this once the powdered ores reach on this through the conveyor belt all the magnetic substance will be collected near the roller and all the non magnetic substance will be thrown away so it's just like you know you have seen winnowing winnowing means it's not magnetic separation winnowing is the lighter particles will be going far away it will be thrown out far away with the help of wind and heavier particles will be depositing or it will be falling near you nearer to you in the same way all the magnetic substances will be coming near to the rollers or down the rollers and all the non magnetic um, gang particles or ore particles whatever it is it will be thrown away from the roller so it is separated this is called magnetic separation it's a simple technique the third method is froth flotation method froth flotation method is used for concentrating sulfide ores for concentrating sulfide ores you know the sulfide ores zinc is present in nature as zinc sulfide we call it as zinc blend galena nice name right galena galena is a ore of lead it is pbs lead sulfide so zinc sulfide lead sulfide all these can be concentrated by froth flotation method now we'll see the procedure what we will do first is we'll take the pulverized ore the cindered ore or the powdered ore and you will add water into that so now we have a, a suspension of ore particles gang particles and water so it's a suspension then to that we will add collectors and froth stabilizers so the question what are collectors collectors are substances which will help us to collect the ore particles and froth stabilizers will stabilize the froth what is the role of collectors collectors will enhance the non wettability of ore particles that means it will protect the ore particles being wet by water now what to do after adding all these substances with the help of a paddle a rotating paddle a shaft we will agitate this mixture you know the churning how we do the churning at home right likewise there will be a shaft like thing which will be rotating in this mixture so it is agitating the mixture heavily so froth will form along with the froth the sulfide ore also will come up we will skimmed off this froth and we will dry it when you dry definitely the froth will break and all the particles all the ore particles will be separated hope this much is clear this is froth flotation method while agitating from the bottom of the container from the bottom of the big container the air is also pushed inside so the formation of froth will be maximum okay then this froth we will skim off and we will dry it you will get the particles separately for example you have a ore you have an ore in your hand which contains two sulfide ores one is zinc sulfide the other one is lead sulfide but you want only lead sulfide you don't want zinc sulfide what we should do 
if you do the normal way the flotation method both the sulfide ores will come up with the froth but we want only lead sulfide to come up pbs to come up so what we will do we should suppress the entry of zinc sulfide for that we will add a depressant called sodium cyanide so the depressant will not allow zinc sulfide to come with the froth instead it will make a soluble complex with zinc sulfide and the complex name is sodium tetracyanido zincate 2 once again sodium tetracyanido zincate 2 which is a soluble complex which will be there in the mixture itself so along with the froth only lead sulfide will come out so you separated now zinc sulfide and lead sulfide from the single ore so sometimes this kind of separation between two sulfide ores is possible either you can add depressants or you can adjust the proportion of water to oil water to oil water to oil means water we are adding at the beginning and oil we are adding as collectors so that two substances proportion you can adjust by doing such things you can separate the sulfide ores or the best method is adding a depressant so in the case of lead sulfide and zinc sulfide ores or a mixture of these two sodium cyanide is used as a depressant so depressant will allow only one sulfide ore to come up with the froth hope this much is very clear so part 3 will be releasing soon if you are seeing my video first time kindly subscribe it and support me thank you thank you so much